Hello, welcome to Literary Life. So I'm sure you can tell from the blue boxes that this video is gonna be my unboxing of the August books um, from Book of the Month Club. So Book of the Month Club, if you don't know, they essentially put out five choices every month, um, but there are now actually more than five. I think their primary choices, because they merge with the young adult, are one, two, three, four. Yeah, I see five, but there's like nine books total you get to pick from. They give you um, like a lot of add-on choices as well. And some of those are new books and some of them are older books. So it's really cool. I'm trying to hide this so you don't see it. <laughs> I'm failing. So we're gonna take a look at what I selected, but I had a really hard time this month because I literally wanted more than my two accounts would get me. I wanted seven books, but thankfully, I realized at the last minute that I'd already pre-ordered one of them through Goldsboro, so I could pull it off with my two accounts. So it was perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so let's talk about it. Every month, you do get a bookmark, and I love this one. Hold that thought with a brain. That is a fun one. And then it just says Book of the Month on the other side. Um, once you complete your, I forget what they call them, like challenges, they send you a candle. Um, you must get one for every challenge you complete because this is my second candle. I got one last month as well. And I've completed all three, so hopefully that means I'll get another one next month. And it's really nice. It's amber and vanilla. Um, but let's get on to the books. As always, I'll have a link below if you are interested in joining Book of the Month Club. Um, I think you can get your first book for five bucks. And then I'll also have links if you just decide you want to purchase any of these books. So the first book we are going to look at is The Unraveling of Cassidy Holmes by Alyssa R. Sloan. So essentially this book is going to be a look at the pop music culture and I am really excited especially after loving Daisy Jones and the Six. But essentially our main character in this book um, is part of a pop band that is just rising to stardom. And um, at some point, she takes her own life. And this book is going to explore what led up to that and also her bandmates who are grappling with that unexpected um, loss. What I love about the way the story is going to unfold is it mentions multiple perspectives, which I always enjoy that. And I think it jumps back and forth in time. So there's going to be like that mystery um, element as we get to understand Cassidy Holmes and what led to that tragic decision. So this is contemporary fi fiction, one of the five selections for the month, and um, obviously one of my choices. Ah, and I forgot to tell you about the author. I always like to share that. There she is, Texas native, Japanese American. Um, she lives in Austin with her husband and two cats. And this is her debut novel. So for those of you looking for a debut, that is it. So the next choice um, from the five that I selected actually may surprise some of you because the sci-fi genre is not my go-to, but I was so intrigued by this subject. And it's The Space Between Worlds by Micaiah Johnson. Um, so in this book, our main character, essentially there are multi-universes. And there's like 372 worlds in which our main character's life has already been like cut short. Um, so she survived on the earth she's on, um, but is identified as a potential for multiverse travel. So she can actually leave her universe and go into a different universe, which I thought, okay, this sounds cool. <laughs> and she finds trouble though so i think this is going to weave in some suspense because essentially one of her doppelgangers is going to die mysteriously aka murdered i'm pretty sure and so that's going to throw her in jeopardy and i'm like okay this sounds like it's going to combine a thriller and it's going to combine mystery two of my favorite genres and put it in a sci-fi setting which how can we ask for more than that so there is her, uh, uh, the author. She was raised in the Mojave Desert. Um, she received her bachelor's in arts from the University of California. She now studies American literature at Vanderbilt. And she's focusing on critical race theory and auto maintenance. I have no idea what that is. But anyway, it sounds very cool. 
going to so Google that one later. All right. The next book I selected out of the five choices will not surprise any of you if you've watched my videos before. And that is the thriller, The Night Swim. So in this book, our main character is a podcaster. And so her voice is very well known, but not her face. So she's really surprised when somebody leaves a note on her windshield asking for help. And essentially there was a um, a crime where her sister, the person who wrote the note, sister was um, killed and uh, it was believed to be, I think it was accidental, but they're saying it wasn't. Um, there's also a, I don't know if it's the same crime or a different one where there's a rape trial underway and the rape, the accused rapist is like a golden boy um, and the girl who is a victim is like the daughter or granddaughter of a police chief. So we're going to have a lot of the dynamics in the town getting pulled in. Um, and it's thriller. So I'm like, okay, I have to read it. So that was my third choice. Okay, the last book from the five choices. And then I've got books that were from the add-ons. This was actually already on my TBR, so I was really excited to see it. Um, the Death of Vivek Oji. This is a Nigerian story, and essentially a mother opens her door one day to find her son's body wrapped in cloths, laying their dead body. And um, the, so, that, so that kicks off the story of the family struggling to understand what happened to their son. Um, he has apparently been a troubled um, child who would have periods of blackouts where he felt very disconnected from himself and the world around him. Um, it sounds like he was a little bit of an eccentric in some ways, maybe due to that or due to other personality traits. But he did find people like a particular cousin that he um, developed very in, in intimate friendships with um, throughout the, um, his years. And he will grow into adolescence, um, but at some point there is a situation that ends in tragic violence, and hence we have the death of Vivek Oji. Um, so this book, as always, just it's one of those stories that sounded like it was going to be heart wrenching um, and focus on relationships and interpersonal dynamics. And then it's set in a foreign country so I can learn a little bit about that country. Um, and yeah, so it, it checked a lot of boxes. So it had been on my TBR. For those of you that were interested, there was one additional historical fiction book called Atomic Love. Um, it's a Russian spy romance set during the Cold War. I'm just, I would have gotten it if I didn't have enough other choices, but as you will see, when you see my books, there were plenty. I had all six. Um, let's get into the add-ons. Okay, and once again, I forgot to show you the author, so there is our author there for the death of um, Vivek Oji, and it looks like she, I'm trying to see if it says where she lives. There is a big write-up, and I'm not going to read all that now. Um... <laughs> I'm trying to scan it just to see if I can see where the author's from. But she has had quite the career. And for the thriller, The Night Swim, our author is there. And uh, wow, she's covered war, peace, international terrorism, financial meltdowns in the Middle East and Asia. She's been a news a, a correspondent for Reuters and other media outlets. She's now based in Australia um, with her three sons. And she's a foster mom to lab puppies. I love that. Okay, so the add-ons were new selections for next, for this month. They were not previously available. And the first one is the book Luster, a novel. Um, this book was already on my TBR list. I had heard about it and was very intrigued. So essentially, we have a woman in her 20s who is going through some issues in life. She's making really bad sexual choices with partners. She has an admin job. It sounds like she's in and out of jobs. And she ends up meeting a man um, who is a digital archivist who whose wife and he have agreed to have an open marriage so apparently she has a relationship with him but then at some point she loses her job and ends up living with the couple i don't know if it was meant to be long term i, I have no idea yet um, and becomes an unexpected ally to the wife i mind blown and as soon as i'm sitting there reading a description like what how can you do this i'm like i need to read this um, so it basically, and I love this wording, it's also a haunting, aching depiction of how hard it is to believe in your own talent and of the unexpected influences that bring us into ourselves. And I thought that was really well worded. So totally intrigued. 
There is the author herself. Um, her work work has been published in several. Um, it looks like like the Yale Review, several publications, and this is her another debut. So this is her first novel. The last book that I got before I show it to you. I have to tell you that if you were expecting me to get True Story, you would have been completely right. I would have ordered that one. Um, that was an add-on. Thankfully, I'd already ordered a beautiful limited edition from Goldsboro in the UK. So I could thankfully pass on it and allow myself to get the next book that caught my attention, and that is The Comeback. So this novel, we have another rising young star who all of a sudden disappears from the, the world, the limelight. And she makes a return a year later and is sober. So it sounds like she was spiraling out of control. Um, and when she comes back, she is asked to present an award to a director that she had worked with previously and had been very controlling of her life for about eight years. And that situation being forced, I guess, to come within contact of him brings up a lot of the issues. I'm assuming maybe they're what led to her taking off and maybe her substance abuse. Um, but she essentially uh, realizes she needs to speak, I think, about what's gone on. But the thing I loved about this book of, is always is that it's going to jump back and forth between the past and what she went through in the present um, and what she's coming to terms to face. Um, so that is The Comeback by Ella Berman. There is our author, and she grew up in London and in L.A., worked at Sony, Sony Music um, before she started a clothing brand, and she now lives in London with her husband and her dog. And this is her first novel. So we have three debut books in my stack, which make me very happy. So that is it, and um, if you are already a Book of the Month subscriber, I don't know what that just was that I did. Um, let me know what books you picked below, too, because I love hearing. Um, and if you happen to snag any of the books I chose to pass up, I'd love to hear what you think. Because if there is ever a month where I don't want all the choices, you know, there's always the add-ons. So that is it. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Now, let's go read some books. Happy reading.